Hi everyone, this is Ashley from the Learning Platforms team and today I'm going to be showing you how to use Adapted Release. Adapted Release is a functionality in Blackboard to set rules to content items so they are released to users at appropriate instances and times. There are two types of Adapted Release. There is basic adapted release, where you can apply one rule to a content item. And there's advanced adapted release, where you can be a bit more complex and add more than one rule. If you want to enable adapted release, you can click into either one. Each rule can have up to four criteria. There is date, which will release the item depending on the date. There is membership, where you can allow specific students or groups if you have any in your course to view the item. There is grade where a student will not view a content item unless they've reached a specific grade criteria. Lastly, there is review status, which means the student must have gone through other material in the course or reviewed other material in the course to be able to view this one. For one rule, let's apply the date. So it will not show until after this date, display after, and display until means that it will stop showing after this time. I also want to give it a review status criteria. If we hit browse, it's going to show us all the content areas in our course. And I want students to have viewed lecture 10 to be able to view this. Once I hit submit on the bottom right, it's going to take me back to the content item. The rule that has been applied means that students who have reviewed lecture 10 and are viewing it between those dates that I set can view this item. If we go into advanced adapted release, it will show us that one rule that we've applied. If I want to add more, I can hit create rule on the top left. You can give it a different name if you wanted. I'm going to leave rule two. I'm going to hit submit on the bottom right. And now I can select what criteria I want to add. For rule two, I'm going to create a membership criteria. I'm going to add a specific student and hit submit on the bottom right. This means in rule two, this criteria means that this student will always have access to this item. I'm going to hit OK on the bottom right because I don't want any more criteria for rule two. And it's going to take me back to my list of rules. So these two rules mean that rule one, students who have viewed lecture 10 and are viewing it between these dates can view this item. Rule two will apply to that one user who can now always see it. Once I'm satisfied with my rules, I'm going to hit OK on the bottom right. As always, I hope this was helpful, and thank you for taking the time to watch. Have a great one.